In this video, I will be using Wix and Group Policy to deploy Microsoft Office 365 from a network share. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also, in the bottom of the page you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example, here you can find videos about my Windows Server setup, other group policies and settings that I'm using when I'm deploying software using group policy, and also a few videos about Wix, because I will be using Wix to create Microsoft Office MSI installation file that I will be using in my policies. And here you can see the objectives for this video. First, I will be downloading Microsoft Office installation files to a network share. After that, I will be using Wix to create Microsoft Office MSI installation file. And then using that file, I will be creating two policies. The first policy will be for deploying Microsoft Office to domain computers without any user interaction. And the second policy will allow domain users to install Microsoft Office whenever they like without administrative privileges. And now I will begin this video by downloading all the files that I need for this deployment. And I will start by downloading Office Deployment Tool. And for that I will use the link that I have here that brings me to the Office Deployment Tool download page. Here I will just click on the download button and then I will go back to my GitHub page. Because here I have few more files that I need for the MSI package. And the first thing that I need from here is Microsoft Office installation configuration file. And for this video I will be using this one, it's called m365-config. If I click on it you can see it's a simple installation configuration file. And it doesn't really matter what configuration file you're using. Because there is only few parameters in here that matters. We need to set display level to none, except EULA. And also because this video is about installing Microsoft Office from a network share, here we need to have a source path that leads to that network share that will be holding Microsoft Office installation files. Anyways, I will click on the button right here to download this file and then I will go back to my GitHub page. The next file that I need is Wix configuration file. And here in my GitHub page I have two Wix configuration files. The configuration file that is called m365-wix is a configuration file that already has all the values filled in. So you can use this file as an example, but for this video I will be using the configuration file that is called m365-template. So I will click on it and then I will click on the button right here to download this configuration file. Go back to the main page in my GitHub page and then I will go to my downloads folder. And first I will be downloading Office installation files to a network share that I will be using for my deployments. And for that I need Office installation configuration file and also setup.exe from the Office deployment tool installation file. And to get setup.exe we have two options. We can install this executable and then get setup.exe from the installation location. Or we can just use 7-zip to extract this executable. Go inside of this folder and here we have setup.exe that I need. I will copy it from here, move it to my downloads folder. And because I no longer need this deployment tool installation file or this folder, I will select both of them and I will remove it from my downloads folder. And now I will click on office installation configuration file and setup.exe. Then I will right click and select copy. And then I will go to my VMware workstation where I have my Windows Server environment. And here first I will minimize the Server Manager and on my desktop I will create a new folder. I will name it Office. And I will insert the files in here. And one quick note is that in this video I will be downloading Office installation files on my server. But it's recommended not to use a server but just a regular computer that has access to a network share where you want to place the installation files. But because this is my testing environment, using a server is not a bad idea. Also, before starting the download, I once again want to show you the Office installation configuration file. I will just open it using Visual Studio Code. And I want to show you this part right here, because here you need to enter the location of your network share. In this case, I'm using SRV02, because this is my file server, and here I have this software share and in that share the office deployment tool will create another folder called office that you see here for example if i copy this location right here and go to back to my server and let's open another file explorer window insert the location here and go inside of it as you can see currently uh, here i only have this chocolatey folder and now to start downloading microsoft office installation files I need to open a command line window, so for that I will go to my start menu, search for CMD, 
I will open it and then here in the command line we need to change the location to the location where we have our setup.exe and also office installation configuration file. So I'll click on the location in here, I will copy the directory and then in the command line I will just type cd, insert of the location, press enter and if I type there, here I can see both of my files. Now to start the downloading process, we need to provide the executable file name, so it's setup.exe, then a parameter slash download, and then provide our office installation configuration file. So it's m365-config-.xml. And if I press enter, the download should start. As you can see, the office folder appeared inside of the network share. And now we need to wait a bit. And it seems that Office Deployment Tool finished downloading Microsoft Office installation files. So now I will start creating my MSI installation package. And for that, I will go back to my downloads folder. Here we need to have setup.exe, the Office installation configuration file, and also Wix configuration file. And we also need to modify this Wix configuration file. So first I will just rename it to M365. And then I will use Visual Studio Code to open this file. And as you can see, it's a, basically an XML file. It's instructions for Wix on how to package our files into MSI file. And in here, we need to fill in the information that you see here. So first, we need to name our MSI package. I will just name it Office M365 Installer. Then for exe, we need to provide our setup.exe value. So it's setup.exe. In most cases, it should be setup.exe. Then we need to provide our office configuration file name. So for that, I will go to my downloads folder, right click on this configuration file, select rename. Then I will select full name to include the extension because the extension is important. And I will copy the full name and insert the value in here. Next, for the path, we need to provide the location where we have our files. And I have my files in my downloads folder and my downloads folder is in my D drive. So I will type D slash downloads. Then the version number is not important, but it's a mandatory field. And this version is not related to office version. This is the version number for our installer that we are creating. So I'll just give it a value of 1.0.0. Publisher is also not important, but it's also a mandatory field. So I'll just enter, let's do automation. And the last thing that we need to provide is a unique identifier for our package. And to get this unique identifier, I will be using a PowerShell command that I have here in my GitHub page. I will scroll down a bit and here it is. I will just click on the button right here to copy this command. Then I will open a terminal window, insert the command here, press enter. And as you can see, every time I'm using this command, I'm getting a new unique identifier and I will copy one of the values and insert it here. And that's basically it. Now we can create our MSI file. And for that, once again, I need to go back to my command line. Here we want to change the directory in the command line to the location where we have our files. And like I said before, I have my files in my downloads folder and my downloads folder is in my D drive. So I'll type CD, D and then downloads, press enter. And if I type there, here I can see all of the three files that I have in my downloads folder. So set to PXE, Wix configuration file and also office installation configuration file. Now to create the MSI file, we need to type Wix build and then provide our Wix configuration file name. So it's m365.wxs. And if I press enter, Wix started creating our package and it seems that it is done creating it. And here in my downloads folder, now I see this MSI file. And now that I have my MSI file, I can start creating my group policies. So first I will right click on the MSI file click on copy, go back to my Windows server. Then I will go back to the network share that I have here. Here we have the office installation files and I will just place the MSI file inside of this network share. And one thing to note in here is that for our deployment to work, we need to have the correct NTFS and share permissions. 
basically we need to give access to our users and computers uh, to access the share and read files from it for example in my case if i go to properties security tab you can see that i have here authenticated users with read permissions and authenticated users covers both users and computers and that means that all of my computers and all of my domain users are able to access the share and read files from it anyways let's close this window and now we can start creating our policy and for that i will go to my server manager then tools group policy management and the first policy that i will be creating will be for my domain computers it's when the software is installed during startup without any user interaction and for that i will right click on group policy objects select new i will name the policy assign microsoft office then i will click ok then i will select the policy that i created and then i will right click on it and select edit and because this policy is for our computers we need to go to computer configuration policies software settings click on software installation then right click here go to new and select package here we need to select our msi file that we have in our network share right here so i will go to my file server it's srv02 then software share office folder and here i have my msi file so i'll select it here we need to leave it at the sign and then we can click ok and that's basically it for the policy we can close this window then in here i will go to details and for gpo status i will select user configuration settings disabled because currently this policy has only computer settings in it and in this case i will leave all other settings on default now after creating the policy we need to assign it to an organization unit that is holding the computers on which we want to deploy microsoft office in my case the organization unit will be this one it's called computers and it is holding other computers in my domain so to assign the policy i will click and hold on the policy and then drag and drop it on this organization unit click ok in here and as you can see the policy appeared in the list here and also in the list here and that's basically it now to test this policy i will go to one of my client machines that i have here and because I just created the policy and didn't give enough time for my computers to update group policy automatically, I will do it manually. And for that, I will go to my start menu, search for CMD. And in here, I will just type GP update, press enter and wait a bit. And it seems that group policy update was successful. Here we get this message basically saying that computer detected a software installation package. And for the installation to happen, we need to restart the computer. So to restart the computer, I will just type shut down minus R minus T0, press enter, and now we need to wait a bit. And here we can see that my MSI package is currently being installed, and that means that we need to wait a bit more. And it seems that office installation is over, so I will sign in back to my user. And then if I go to my start menu, we should find Microsoft Office applications. So yeah, we see Word, I will open it. And it seems to be working just fine. And that's basically it for deploying Microsoft Office to domain computers during startup without any user interaction. Now I will show you another deployment option. It's where we can allow our domain users to install Microsoft Office whenever they like. And for that, I will go back to my server. Here for now I will disable the policy that I just created and then I will create a new one. Once again I will right click on group policy objects, select new and this time I will name the policy publish Microsoft Office and then I will click OK. I will select the policy that I created then I will right click on it and select edit. And because this policy is for our users, we need to go to user configuration, policies, software settings, and once again, click on software installation. Let's right click here, go to new and select package. Once again, we need to select MSI file that is in our network share. So I'll click on it. Here we need to leave it at published, and then we can click OK and close this window. Because we're done creating the policy, in the policy settings, in the details, for GPO status, I will select computer configuration settings disabled because currently this policy has only user settings 
and I will leave all other settings on default. And once again, after creating the policy, we need to assign it an organization unit. But this time we need to assign it an organization unit that is holding the users to whom we want to give the ability to install Microsoft Office. In this case, it will be the users organization unit that I have here. As you can see, currently it has no policies. So to assign the policy, I will just click and hold on the policy and then drag and drop it on this organization unit. Then I will click OK and, and as you can see the policy appeared in here. And now to test this policy I will go to my other client machine that I have here. Here I have this desktop shortcut that allows me to install software and as you can see the list is currently empty. And that's because even though we created the policy we didn't give it enough time to update on our computer. So once again I will do it manually and for that I will go to start menu, search for CMD, I will open it and here I will type GP update. Press enter and wait a bit. And as you can see, policy update was successful. If I go back to the window here, the list is still empty, but if I refresh here, we can see our office installation package. So now I just need to double click on it and the installation starts. And once again, we need to wait a bit more. And once again, Office installation seems to be over. So if I go to my start menu, all apps, here we can see Microsoft Word, I can open it. And it seems to be working just fine once again. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.